Hello everybody, I'm Ace Legan, and welcome to what has to be my all-time favorite PS2 game, Shadow Hearts from the New World. Uh, I haven't played this game in a while. Um, this game is the third in the Shadow Hearts series, which itself is a spin-off of an old uh, PS1 game called Kadelka. Uh, this game doesn't have a lot to do with the previous two games, except for uh, the concept of malice, and there's one uh, character, a couple characters from the previous games who shows up. But it's about to uh, play the opening bit, which will kind of show some of the things I love about this game. But uh, this game is hard to come across. Um, the company uh, that produced it, Midway, is no longer in business. So uh, there's not a lot of copies of it going around. I've owned three copies of this game. Uh, the first two got scratched, and so those aren't playable anymore. Uh, the current version I have I found online for like, I don't remember, like 30 or 40 dollars, so yeah, this game, uh, not easy to come across. Oh yeah, look at those old PS2 graphics. Okay, so yes, one thing I love about this game. <laughs> Obviously, that's not the only thing. This is, um, probably the best RPG game I've ever played. It has a really well-done turn-based strategy system that I absolutely love. Yes, there is a giant cat that is a playable character. Uh, this game's beautiful. Uh, the reason I initially got this game is because I just saw the uh, cover art, and I just thought it looked great. And as I was checking it out, the guy at the GameStop said that it was his favorite game and that I was going to love it. I lost my memory that day, along with my family. When I woke up in the hospital, the doctor told me that we'd been involved in an accident. My father and sister died. Trapped in a blaze of burning crimson. If I try and remember anything else, it's terrifying. Alright, so since this is, again, an RPG game, 
I'm going to do the same thing I've been doing with uh, Final Fantasy IV and do all of my uh, level grinding off screen. But I'm going to uh, do all of the uh, actual storyline stuff as uh, recordings. Oh yeah, another big part of the uh, Shadowheart series as well as Kadelka is that there's a skull-shaped book called the Emigre Manuscripts, which is basically this uh, universe's equivalent of the Necronomicon. And it uh, plays a pretty big role in all of the games. And here is our protagonist. He has amazing hair. <laughs> so yeah, this game starts off in uh, New York City, but as it goes on, it travels all over North America, and I think a bit of South America, too. I think that's the Chrysler building. I don't know. I don't know New York City very well. Don't try this at home, kids. Do a flip! So this is foreshadowing a scene that comes a bit later. Y no, she's a... She's a shapeshifter. Um, the word they use in-game is Harmonixer. Um, the protagonist of the previous two games, Shadow Hearts and Shadow Hearts Covenant, was also a Harmonixer who could shapeshift into a number of forms. But he didn't have to remove his clothes in order to do so. There's work to do, Master. You've got a customer waiting. Yeah? So this is Lenny. Uh, he was actually a villain in the previous game, and now he's the main character's butler in this game. And look at this dude. He's clearly not a villain. Welcome to Garland's Detective Agency. I'm the boss, Johnny Garland. Yes, how do you do? What? My Did name is Gilbert, and I'm a teacher. He's 21. A well -known university in Boston. It's actually a long story. I was told by a reliable source that this is the place to come if you happen to be looking to find someone. You're looking for someone? Yes, this man. I've heard rumors that someone who looks very much like him has been seen around Manhattan recently. Marlowe Brown. He's a man facing charges on at least eight counts of attempted murder, disorderly conduct, etc., etc. 
He was released on parole three days ago, and right off the bat, escaped without paying any bail money. My god, he sounds like trouble. I don't get it. What do you want a guy like that for anyway, huh? <laughs> Let's just say, we have a business relationship. He got out on bail, as you know, but I am his bomb guarantor. You see, if I don't find him at fast, <laughs> I'm going to be stuck with coming up with every cent of his bail money. So, I'm receiving two layers of audio from this game because I'm hearing it over my uh, headphones on my computer, but that's like delayed a couple seconds. So I'm hearing it from both my TV and from my game capture, and one's being slightly behind the other. Accepting such a dangerous case like that. What are you talking about? Uh, yes, I could. We just got our first real case, you know. Until now, all of our jobs have been things like sweeping factory chimneys and searching for runaway... Yes. <laughs> Nothing interesting at all. Master, think about it. Don't you think it's time to quit this? It's already been a year since you left the house and opened the agency. How is your father's business going to succeed without you to run it? Not that again. I told you I don't want to work there anymore. If you miss it so much, why don't you go back by yourself? What are you saying? On that day, I swore I would serve you for the rest of my life. You and I are one heart, one body. I can't imagine working anywhere without you, my master. Okay, whatever. He's just anyway, incredibly loyal. He was a questions. villain in the past game, as I mentioned, but he's had a change of heart since then. At least let me come with you. I sure hope young master's going to be all right out there on his own. Yeah, I'm in it now. I'm playing. Which button opens the menu? This one? Cool. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, I've missed this. So, so far, I just have a clip point dagger and a cotton shirt, but I get better stuff later on. Sixteen-year-old private detective does just about anything from finding lost cats to cleaning out gutters. His reckless personality often leads to trouble. I think that he's 21. I just called 16. Said no. It's a long story. I just clicked it. <laughs> okay. Uh, da, da, da. Data. Save. I might start an additional file on this so that I can play this just on my own in my free time without uh, recording. I'm Johnny Garland, and I'm 16. I'm a private detective living in New York City, and like Lenny was saying, the truth is, my father died three years ago, and I was supposed to take over running his company. But living on an inheritance doesn't really do it for me. So I opened my own office. There are other reasons why I'm a detective. That accident didn't just take my family. It also took part of my memories. There is something important I have to remember. Something significant. Something that really means something to me. I thought that if I started working as a detective, it might help me someday to remember. I haven't told this to anyone. He got a hot dog. Not a soul. Even Lenny. Alright! Time to do some detective work. Hello. Lately, no matter how much I sleep, I can't shake this drowsiness. I'm gonna go home and take a nap. This game, I believe... I believe is set in the 40s. Oh, you're the peeping Tom from before! I don't peep, I was on a love affair investigation. Sure. 
No idea. Oh my, your work sounds tough. Be careful not to get hurt. What do you have to say? Still playing detective? If you got so much free time, how about sweeping chimney at my shop? Don't have time. I got a man to find. Oh, the weather's nice again today. I'm gonna... When the weather is nice again today, I'm gonna cast a line and listen to the Hudson River. Okay, I'm leaving this area. Or not. What about you? You got anything to say? Just out with my husband, when I nagged him about going on a trip, he said he'd take out the car for me. Everyone could use a sweet husband, huh? Since he did something for me, maybe I'll make a nice dinner tonight. Okay. I don't remember who I need to talk to. Hello, young man. Looking for someone? Doing real, uh, doing real detective work for a change. None of your business. Anyway, have you seen the person in this photo? Um, nope, never seen him before. Might want to look in Times Square. There's a lot of people over there. Times Square, huh? Okay, I'll go check it out. Yeah. Excuse me. Open up the command menu by pressing the triangle button in the world map. From the command menu, you can save at any time. Times Square, here we go. Ma'am, when you come to Times Square, you gotta try this or you're missing out. Think I'd trick you? Hey now. I don't know. Any way you look at it, it's just bread with pepper sauce. Wonder if there's something to it. Hello? My socks have been doing well lately. Look at this car of mine. I bought it just like that. Yeah, the phrase American Dream. It's like it was made just for me. I can't stop laughing. Gar! No one laughs like that. Uh, probably. Whoa, what was that sound, huh? Hey, city boy, wait one second. Huh? What? Who? Me? Oh, these are some of my favorite characters. Ooh, just like I thought. City boys are cute. You might be my type. Hey, Jerry, you gonna cheat on me right in front of my eyes? So, kid, what's your name? Uh, um, I'm Johnny Garland, but... Johnny, huh? That's a nice name. It's got a nice ring to it. Hey, Johnny, baby. Phone, shut up! Can I call you that? No, no way. Oh, so cold-hearted. Well, no biggie. I'm Gerard... Magnell? A merchant. This is my honey, Buigan. We just arrived in this land. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you too. Um, I'm in a bit of a rush, so I'm just gonna get going now. Well, aren't you an impatient boy? And we just got to meet you. That's right. Stay and talk a little longer. I'll even give you something special of mine. A point card. A point card? That's right, a point card. If you shop at my store, you'll collect points on your card. When you collect enough points, you can buy things for cheap or we'll pay more for things you want to get rid of. If you're successful with the ring. You just mutter something? Uh-uh, no, nothing. Anyway, this card's a great deal. Aren't you pleased? Hey, hey, no fair cutting in, Jerry. Well, in that case, I have a present for the boy, too. The Cancer Stellar Chart. Oh, yes, I'm finally getting into the game's magic system. By equipping a Stellar Chart, you will be able to use Stellar Magic. The type of Stellar Magic depends on the type of Stellar on your Stellar Chart. Whoa, you can do magic with this? Keep it on your body at all times. Just pretend that it's me. Yeah, that's not a creepy thing to say at all. 
<laughs> I love these two. No, oh, honey, how audacious. Oh, uh, well, thank you. Can I get going now? I'm really in a hurry. Oh, really? That's too bad. All right, we'll be doing business around here for a while longer. We'll be waiting for you, Johnny baby. God, the way they call him, he calls him Johnny Baby brings to mind how Red Daniel exclusively refers to uh, regular Daniel as Danny Boy. <laughs> so yeah, right now I've got Earth Edge, which uh, adds Earth Element to my physical attacks, and uh, Hail Dust, which deals water damage. Oh, yeah, um, there's seven playable characters. Um, each of them has their own uh, element. Johnny is non-elemental. Uh, but once I get into some of the other characters, they have uh, elements of their own. I'm not sure if there's anything else I need to do here. So I went there, I got the stellar chart, I talked to the shopkeeps. I... Can I talk to these guys? Uh... Okay, I'm just gonna leave. Guess I'll go back to the Upper West Side and see if that kid will tell me anything else. Still here, kid! Because even on the weekdays, I'm subscribed to people from shoppers to tourists. Can't stand all that noise, so I prefer it here in the quiet west side. Okay. There's someone who's supposed to point me in the next direction to- Ooh! Hello, other little boy! Still busy being a detective? Uh, either way, you're probably not busy, so I thought we could play. Okay. What am I missing? Excuse me, ma'am? Okay, you don't tell me anything. Excuse me, sir? Being a busy street, even if something happens, no one thinks anything of it because it's so crowded. Even then, if you compare it to Harlem, I still think this is much better. And for someone who- oh, this man! Ah, I think I've seen him. This is the guy who points me in the right direction. Really? Where? Where? Where was it now? Oh, right! He was in Chelsea! I saw him in a rundown theater that's over there. I noticed him because he looked kind of fishy and staggered as he walked. It was this guy, I'm quite certain. Near the theater in Chelsea, huh? Got it! Arigato gozaimasu! Now I can go to Chelsea. Excuse me, have you seen a girl and a boy, sister and brother around here? Normally come back before dinner. Oh, I'm so worried. Okay, so I gotta find the kids. Yep. Ow, ow, ow. I really had a rough time here. What happened, mister? Are you okay? Looks like you're hurt. Oh no, it's not anything. Worked as a newspaper journalist, but I happened to hear a strange rumor, so I was researching this theater. Strange rumor? Rumor about ghost appearing. This is a scoop, or so I thought going in. But inside was a hooligan hangout. On top of all my money being taken, I was hung out to dry. This is the rundown theater the person in Times Square was talking about, huh? Came all the way to New York, but didn't get a single photo of the ghost. My editor is going to give it to me again. Sounds shady. Like the perfect hideout. Yeah, it must be here. Thanks, mister. Huh? Thanks? Wait, young man! Young man, there's no need to feel down! Save. Alright! 
now I get to go in- Ooh, wait, wait. Something to investigate. No, that was just the door. Navigation map, if you press the R1 button in an area where enemies are encountered, such as the dungeon, the navigation map will be displayed. The navigation map, you can check the current location and bearing, and the location of safe points, however, areas the player has not been to will not be displayed on the navigation map. Okay! Awesome! Oop. I found a thing! So now that I'm here, I'm gonna get to fight, and I'm gonna get to show you all the basics of this game's combat system. What do you want? Another sensational journalist? You're pretty young for that, kid. I'm not a journalist, I'm a detective, and I've come in search of someone. I'd like you to let me through. The brat calls himself a detective? Well, journalists are a detective, it's all the same to us. You're all just suckers. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll use the tutorial. Start with the normal attacks. To attack an enemy with a weapon, select them with the attack command. So yeah, um... The Judgment Ring is how attacks are done in this game. Getting it in orange will land a blow, getting it in the red will land a critical hit. And I can uh, unlock more uh, attack areas on the Judgment Ring as I go. Okay. Okay, so with magic I also have to hit the green, as well as the blue. And all magic spells have a, uh, area of effect where anything caught within the area of effect gets damaged by it. And I got a Thera Leaf, two Thera Leafs, and a Mana Leaf. No, two Thera Leafs and one Mana Leaf. No, but that was the two in front of the mana leaf was for the thera leaf. There was another one behind the mana leaf. Hello, little girl. What's wrong? It's dangerous for you to be here all along. Uh, um, my big brother and I were playing dare, but he went off somewhere, and now I can't find him. Okay, I'll go and look for your brother. Stay here and wait until I come back. You know, here, with all the thugs. <laughs> I may not look it, but I'm a detective. Finding people is my specialty. Okay, it's scary, but I'll be patient and wait till you get back. Hello, thug. Come on. Uh. Sure, I'll view this tutorial. Whatever. So yeah, I have a stock gauge which comes into play a bit uh, later on. Stock gauge fills during various damage actions during battle, and when it hits max, your stock increases by one. You can store at most two bars of stock. These can be used to conduct various special moves. First, let's try filling the stock gauge to increase your stock. Attack and inflict damage on an enemy. Or when you take damage, your stock gauge will increase. Collected one bar of stock. Have one or more bars of stock. Pressing the L1 or R1 button will allow you to select a stock move. Let's try double this time. Allows you to conduct two moves at one time by using one bar of stock. You select your first move, you can choose your second action. Cannot conduct the same action twice. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, so the stock lets me uh, execute multiple attacks in a row, and once I get more uh, characters in my party, I can actually perform combination attacks with them. Really is a hooligan hangout. This kind of place isn't safe for a kid. If I don't find him quickly... Huh? Is there something on the floor? Oh, fuck yes. Uh, you know what? $20, I think. Alright, so I'm pretty sure what Cure does is it removes status effects. Or maybe it... I don't remember. I know there's both a Cure and a Heal. Oh yeah. So, Handy Tool is useful because it lets me take a... The camera lets me take pictures of people. And once I have those pictures, I can see their stats. Uh. Oh yeah, so if I target this guy, then both of these guys will get damaged by the fuck! Okay, I fucked that up. Okay, I need to heal. God damn it. And my sanity has depleted. That's not good. When I run out of sanity, I lose all control of the character. Oh, look over here. I already have a picture. Well, I died. Yeah, so Lenny has an attack called the God's Hand that lets him attack anywhere on the planet. But he only uses it in the game's opening level and, uh, there's an item I get later on that lets me, uh, call him up to get his help. But, <laughs> but yeah, I am going to go ahead and end this video here. Uh, I'm going to get my beans real quick. Hold on. All right, time to spin my thingamajig. Juicy pear or booger? Um. It's pear. Thank you all for watching. Peace out.